Hello mates, welcome to The Baron Plays, with me, The Baron. Today's game is Ex Anima, by developers Bare Metal Entertainment. So this is a game I'm in the process of uh, reviewing, and I just realized, you know, what the fuck, may as well record a little bit of gameplay, because it's something I absolutely fell in love with. And I feel like it's just one of those games you have to see. It's a top-down, isometric, uh, Dungeon crawler in a sense, uh, RPG. Uh, at first glance you might think it looks a lot like Diablo or something like that. And I can tell you, absolutely not. This is like nothing, in fact. This is like nothing I have ever played before. It's a physics based engine, which means uh, your character, like let me show you, like his. So, first of all, the combat is physics based, which means swords literally clash on swords. Um, and, like, a character can get caught on objects, stumble all over the place, like, get his sword caught. Look at that, sword getting caught on a fucking shelf. Um, and the same thing, you don't, there's no, you don't just push a button to swing. You literally have to swing your sword. Um, but it's one of those things that you really just need to see to understand, and that's why I'm recording this gameplay. Whoops. I love that you can knock shit off uh, shelves and stuff. Um, so this is probably the most fuck you game I've ever played in my life. And that's a big statement. Um, I've played all the Dark Souls, I uh, loved them, finished them. This is the most fuck, fuck you game I've ever played in my life. It really doesn't give a shit about you or about, you know, how easy it is or how you're enjoying the physics system. It is in, you know, this is the way it is and you're going to play it and if you don't like it, cool, fuck you. Um, when I first started playing, you know, the first like enemy zombie guy enemy I came across in the game, Literally it took about literally this is not an exaggeration literally took me about an hour uh, An hour maybe an hour and a half to get by the bastard and um, Because I just couldn't I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't figure out I couldn't figure out how the fighting system worked uh, It was just, It's you know, there's no frame of reference for the fighting style. So it's like Not only is the game stacked against you, but it's forcing you to uh, learn something that you have no experience with. Um, and if I get in combat here, you'll see that. Um, and, you know, I was I was at my wit's end with it, and then um, I watched the video, I think it was... Uh, I hope I didn't get this wrong. I think the user's name was Mr. Green. Um, apologies if I got that wrong, but I will put a link in the description. Um, I watched a video about this YouTuber, um, Showing like, you know, how to deal with this combat system. Showing tips and stuff like that. And then I just practice, practice, practice. And now, I'm a complete convert. Uh, I think it is fucking amazing. And I think every uh, top-down game like this should have something like this. Because the physics are so fucking good. But it's so polarizing, that's the only problem. Okay, here's a guy. So the concept of the game is really abstract. It's just you, 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 you wake up in this dungeon, and it's overrun with just these fucked up kind of ghouls, like kind of a uh, Game of Thronesy kind of ghouls, and some attack you, some don't. It's super weird, super creepy. Let me see. Let me get this guy going here. I'm switching to combat mode right now. So if you uh, if you draw a weapon, they oh shit oh shit they do aggro, um, and the game is brutal in terms of oh fuck in terms of uh, oh shit I'm trying to concentrate here in terms of like how easy it is to die. So this is me really oh great. So this is me really swinging my weapon, you know, and. Um, you kind of have to uh, do a kind of 3 o'clock to 9 o'clock kind of swing, or a 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock kind of swing. You can trust, holding an alt, or double tap to swipe. 
Uh, the blocks are, are like... Uh, I'm gonna say quasi-automatic because it is automatic, but you do have to kind of like aim, so to speak, your weapon um, in order to block. It's very difficult to describe. It's, it's kind of like a skill you just have to get used to. And then it's intuitive and it just kind of makes sense. Um, but the little yellow bar you see on the bottom, that's your life. And if you take concussion damage, the bar goes down. If it reaches the bottom, you KO'd. But you can wake back up. The red, however, uh, represents like cuts and stuff like that. And that does not replenish. Um, very far and few between. Oh, wow. This is great. Very far and few between, uh, you'll get health potions. Uh, but, you know, wouldn't rely on that. Perfect. Okay, I'll take this new armor. Um, and a huge element of the difficulty curve, besides learning how to actually fight and swing my sword, was, you know, as you get better gear, better armor, it really does get easier. Um, now, shit like that will weigh you down. Oh, this is what I was looking for, actually. Shit like that will weigh you down, but uh, I'm still a complete noob at the game, and I would prefer to go full armor kitted than, you know, spend another hour and a half dying repeatedly again and again and again. What's this now? Heavy gauntlets. How does that stack up? Hmm. Nah, I don't think it's better than mine. So yeah, you're in this dungeon, trying to make your way through, or it's it's kind of it's it's a dungeon, I guess, but it kind of has a castle feel to it. There's like uh, the rooms look amazing, the graphics, fucking amazing, and um, you know for an indie game, this looks triple A to me. Like this looks like it could be Diablo, you know. Um, and you know what? I'm gonna go on a limb and say even fucking better because this is such a good looking game. The characters so good the environments are so good they look like uh, dioramas almost they kind of have a diorama vibe going like look at this shit and the level design makes sense too like it the rooms make sense you know like they're not just hobbled together like that looks like a little kitchen this looks like a little dining room like the architecture uh, is functional like there's a I was in a tavern there earlier, and then beside the tavern was like a little kitchen, and like little toilets. That's excellent, you know, that makes sense to me. So, don't know where the fuck I'm going. Um, huge element of it is, it's just so labyrinth, like, um, these levels. And it's so easy to get lost. So I actually found myself grabbing a little bit of pen and paper there earlier, and, uh, yeah, here's a closed door. Jotting down fucking old school D and D style, like maps, mapping out this level. Damn, nothing in here. And um, and that was cool, but it was just very time consuming. So now I just now I'm just trying to wing it. Uh, this is the third le level, like the third stair down. I love the sense of, oh shit, every time I open the door, because I never know what's going to be in here. Look at these creepy ass motherfuckers. Oh, this guy's got an axe. Okay, so this has good potential for cutting damage, so I gotta be real careful with this dude. Come on, buddy. Get a taste of this, fucker. Whoa. Wah. Oh, right in the face. Oh shit. Oh, fuck. Gotcha. So, if your red bar gets down to the bottom, you are toast. And that is the end of you. So, it encourages this really... just methodical, steady-paced... Uh, style of gameplay where 
you know, you don't want to fuck it. Like, I've put so many hours in this now, so I don't, I don't want to do something fucking stupid and lose my character. So it has me, you know, creeping along, picking my fights very carefully. And um, I feel pretty confident with these guys. Locked. Let me see if I have the key here. Yep. Oh no, that wasn't the key. Hmm. Let me see then. Now you may notice I've got all these keys here. And you might be thinking like, well, you know, how come you have all these keys? You know, do the keys not go away after you use them or whatever? No, and that goes back to the whole fuck you element of the game, which is you know, it 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 it's 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 not a pen and paper game in the sense that it's number crunching. But the attitude of the game, if that makes sense, is more pen and paper. Which is you know, I don't care if you die. You know, I don't care if you have a hard time getting around. I don't care if you pick up all these uh, useless items or whatever. Like, that's that's your too bad, you know? And that, I mean, this is the thing. That's a polarizing attitude, you know? That's, that's going to send a lot of people to run for the hills. But then there's also gamers like me who's like, that's actually super refreshing. Okay, I've definitely fucking been this way. I think this is literally where I started the video. Yeah, motherfucker. You know, that's a, um, it's different, you know, like, and it's, it's, it's refreshing, it doesn't hold your hand, it doesn't spoon feed you. Okay, I'm so fucking lost right now. I'm starting to regret not drawing my little map for this. What's down here? Hmm. If a door is open, I feel like I feel like I've been here. You know, that's kind of my attitude right now. Whoops. And so I don't know how many times I died playing this game. Um, just trying to get the grips with it. Hmm. This way. Ah, why didn't I draw a map? I tell you. This serves me right. Textures are fucking beautiful. The texture artists of this game, the modeler, um, is a wizard. Honest to God. Okay, this doesn't look. Oh fuck! Oh shit! Oh fuck! It's like two guys. Okay, I'm not gonna take two of these at once. Stuck in here. That's a skeleton too, I've never seen one of those guys before. In here. What oh, does a scroll there do? Switch weapons. Oh fuck. Woo! He's got a shield. Alright, I have no idea about skeletons, so let's let's do this. Yep. Oh, give me a little bit of shoulder bash. Wah. Come on. Let's roll. Oh, shit, he got me. Wow, this guy's way tougher than the rest of the guys I fought. Let's get some distance. Oh, got him in the ankle. Oh. I think if I could catch him from his right side, where he doesn't have that shield. Oi! It's hard to tell if I'm even getting him too, because he's he doesn't bleed. If I could land one, if I land a hit on his head, maybe. Oh shit! Oh. Try for the head. Pretty good. Why? Oh man, I don't want to die now to this guy. 
Oh fuck. Okay. Oh yes, I got him. Well, just in the fucking nick of time. Ay ay ay. You know what? I'm getting a bit scared here. I'm gonna back up, close this fucking door. Ugh. Chill for a second. It reminds me a little bit of um, Heroes Quest. If you've ever played Heroes Quest, the kind of closing doors, locking enemies out. Um, the enemies cannot open doors, so you can kind of catch a bit of a breather. And you'll see down here my little health bar will slowly start ticking up. Uh, capping out at the uh, red wound, which is the permanent wound. Okay. When I get my health back, I'm going to have a second go at that guy. So I guess we're in skeleton territory now. Oh jeez, that gave me a heart attack. I thought, I thought that skeleton could maybe open doors. What's in here? Parchments everywhere. Interesting design choice for the game is combat actually is not the end all for um, getting experience. And actually exploring is what it's all about, and reading little parchments. So that's kind of interesting, because you could play the game in kind of a very different way. Um, just kind of like, avoid enemies and like, use tactics to get by them. You don't have to, you know, plow through everything. Oh wait, what's, what's this? Uh, give me those superior leather shoes. Throw these pieces of shit away. Wardrobes. And then leveling up your guy, you know, you can level up and you get new perks. That's cool, but um, a huge element of it is just the equipment you get. And, you know, taking risks to explore the... Okay, let's do this. The dark, dark area is a dungeon, you know, yield bigger rewards. Come on, motherfucker. No, I'm not... Oh, shit! I'm not going in there because I'm not going to be able to swing my sword. It's going to get caught in a wall like this. I want, to, I want him to come in here. Okay, let's do it. Right. Great sword versus great sword. Oh, I caught him across the breastplate. Ay, ay, ay. Whoa. I've never been able to stab anything with this great sword. Bam. Oh, Jesus Christ. Almighty. Me, that was a bad hit. He did a. Uh, he did like permanent damage there, about a third. Mm. Mm. It's better in every way, but it's gonna weigh me down. You know what? I'm newbie enough that I think I need to go with that. This better. Slash. Yeah, I'm. I'm a. I'm a newbie enough that I think I need to go like full metal. Okay, let's get the old torch out. Look at those fucking shadows, man. Honest to God, the art designer, art director, whatever, whatever you're called, whoever you. Whoever you are who did the like look at this game, you are fucking amazing. Music is great too, it's just like weird ass like drone. Okay, I think this was the room those two skeletons came from. Alright, so we've got quite quite a bit going on here. This kind of looks like a like books or something, a place for books or something. Okay, I'm definitely gonna get lost here. Pretty kooky feature too is you can pick up furniture and like move it around so you could throw furniture in people's way or uh, sometimes you need to move furniture. 
like get to a door or whatever. And then also you have like just shit tons of clutter on shelves and stuff. And sometimes you know you look through it and uh, you know it's just junk. It's it's not anything. It's just junk. And so you know you end up thinking it's something putting in your inventory. You've got bottles or whatever. It's, it's fucking nothing. And you know that just like actually here's a perfect example. Like this isn't just this isn't just decoration. I can pick these fucking things up. Look at this. Jars and shit. That's crazy. But now, okay, so you might be asking, well, wait, well, you know, what's the point? What's, like, if it doesn't do anything, let me refer you to rule number one of this game. Fuck you. It's It doesn't matter. It's like, that's... This is the game. Just like any role-play game, you might play in pen and paper. Come into a room, it's like a shelf full of items or whatever. It's like, okay, well... You know, are you gonna loot them all? Because they're all just junk, you know? Just like pen and paper. Like, games like Skyrim and stuff have kind of spoiled us, in a sense, because... Um, it kind of tells us straight off the bat what things do. Like, okay, you're gonna want this potion or whatever because it's gonna heal this or that. Oh, what's this? This looks intriguing. Um, I'm gonna come back to that. But this game, not so. And then, you know, you might also get into the habit of thinking, well, this junk does nothing. Not so. Like, I picked up this compass and I thought to myself, oh man, it would be so good if I picked up this compass and it actually gave me a compass. It fucking gives me a compass. That's cool, you know what I mean? That's... I'm gonna drop this space go. That's, uh... That's awesome. So it's kind of like, it's, it's keeping me on my toes in that sense. So this looks like something, I don't know if that... It's just a... I don't, like, I don't know if that's gonna kill me or what. It's probably gonna be the end of this level, but... I'm gonna give it a miss for a second, because I wanna explore down here. Because... I thought I saw two doors down here. This looks like a little kind of study area. I'll go with this open door first, see what this is. Oh! Good job. Oh, for fuck's sake. Literally caught in the door. And that kind of looks like a bin there. Actually, I think that was the way I came in, okay. What's in here? Sounds are really good, too. What's this? Desk? No. Was a chest. Hmm. Tell you, it gives me so much pleasure finding new gear. <laughs> Just because I got my ass kicked so much. And nah, stick with these. Got my ass kicked so much that it feels like a little, little tiny safety net every time I get like better gear. I feel less likely to die. I'd say, honest to God, I put about. Oh boy, about two, two hours maybe into this, where I was just a piece of shit getting kicked around left, right. And uh, I feel like I'm I'm not good, but I'm more competent, I would say, at least now. Like, at, least, at least I'm killing guys now, that's cool. Okay, let's peek in this portal. Oh, please don't permakill me, because I would be real upset if that happened. Okay. Well, thank fuck for that. Alright, this looks interesting. Completely new kind of area. Okay then, well this might actually be a good place to stop it, and I'll pick it up next time. I'm enjoying this game so much, I think I'll make a little series out of it. And, uh, you know, upload one every day, every other day, or whatever. So, thanks for watching guys, the game again, ex-anima, and until next time, cheers.